Hey guys, what's going on? Addy Aviates back here. This is going to be the second episode of Vats and for Dummies. This one we're going to be going over how to create and file a flight plan for Vats and. Alright guys, so as you see here, we are on VATSPY, and I showed you guys how to download this in the first episode. Um, this is what I used before I even opened Flight Sim or VATSIM. Um, because you gotta know where you are gonna be flying today because it kind of really all depends on what controller is on. Right now, as you can see, it is 4.18 p.m. and we have a decent amount of controllers. Um, we got some over here in the west. Um most of the aviation traffic traffic is gonna be on the uh east coast of america i don't know why but most of the time there's the majority of the planes over here um let's try to go to a fully staffed airport so here we got clearance ground and adis as well as departure uh jacksonville but i noticed up here in chicago we have departure uh clearance ground tower and adis so we're fully staffed here in chicago not to mention we also have chicago center so this is literally the most you can get um so we're gonna fly out of chicago so now we just got to pick where we want to fly to um we have a decent amount of air traffic control like i said in jacksonville we have some over here we got uh louisville has some if you want to do a little shorter bit of a flight but we're gonna do a little long haul so let's go O'Hare to Jacksonville. So that is how I decide my flight plans as I come out of that spy and I'm like, all right, what airports have ATC right now? So now that we decided, let's go ahead and hop over to the sim. All right, so now that we're in the sim, we're gonna go ahead and go over the world map and we decided that we're gonna depart out of O'Hare. So you're gonna pick the aircraft you want. You're gonna go over to O'Hare. You're gonna pick a parking spot, a gate. Um, You can, if you want to be super realistic, you can actually look up what gates, uh, what airlines park at. So if I want to do Southwest, I can actually look up and see uh, if Southwest parks at um, any of these gates here. I know they, they're over in Midway, so they're probably not going to be any Southwest planes actually realistically at O'Hare. Maybe there is, maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. But let's pick a random gate here. So I want to depart out of O'Hare because they have fully staffed ATC. Go ahead and press fly. While you're doing that, while you're waiting for that, Go over to this website that I will also link in the description called Simbrief. Um, totally free. You have to make an account for it, but um, uh, don't have to pay for anything for making flight plans. What you get to do is make your account, new flight, airlines or Southwest. I'll just I always do 1928, and then we'll go depart from O'Hare, arrive, and we did Jacksonville because they um, are also pretty staffed as as well over there pick your aircraft type so this one is a 737 uh, 700 737 700 it's going to generate the flight plan for you go ahead and press generate and boom literally a full entire briefing and flight plan for you that automatically happens all you got to do is type in the route and this is going to be like a real-time route as well so it's going to take into the fact the weather, the winds, everything. This is what like a real airliner would fly this this type of route at this time. And then this is also an important step. You're going to go pre-file on a network. VATSIM pre-file. It's going to take you to your VATSIM account. And you're going to go all the way to bottom and file plan. Now we're going to go ahead and go back into the sim. And we're going to open that sim we're gonna go to connect so in this case we are southwest 1928 and we are a 737-7 or actually a max but i actually forgot to change the plane but it's all good um so 737 max and now we are connected to the voice server um flight plan fetch from server flight plans successfully fetch and this is from the same sim brief what we just did as you see here oh here it's jacksonville we got uh alternate already set for us is orlando departure time time and route fuel available everything that you need 
completely does it for you. Um, so then at that point, you just file the plan and boom, now you're ready to, to fly. So as I said, um, we're going to be going over this in the next video too on how to get a craft clearance, but clearance server liaison. So we would call 121.6. We come down here and we tune to 121.6 and then call for our clearance. So that is going to be the end of the second episode. Uh, the third one, like I just said, is going to be how to get an IFR clearance. So hope to see you guys in the next one. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. Just want to drop in and say, if you have any questions about this series, um, make sure you drop them down in the comments. And if you have anything that you want to see more, uh, let me know as well, and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. But uh, if you guys like it, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. I appreciate you guys for being here. See ya.